Hey guys. Well, <laughs> winter is officially here in Chicago. Um, super, super crappy day. Usually it's super nice when I'm filming, but today it is rainy, drizzly. We're expecting snow tomorrow. And just in the nick of time, I had some all season tires installed today. I've got a Model 3 Performance. Uh, Tesla does not recommend the summer tires for use in the winter. So I went ahead, I shopped tires around a little bit, did my research on them. I ended up going with Costco because it was the best deal by far. Um, so I got the Michelin Pilot All Season 3. I'll put a link to it in the description. And they had some rebate for another 150 bucks off or something through Costco. So all installed, all four tires all around. Ended up being like with taxes under a thousand bucks is like $981 or something. So really good price in my opinion. I just wasn't sure how the service here at Costco was going to be, but thankfully super impressed. Uh, they were really nice when I came in. So that was good. I've never had tires done at Costco ever. Usually, um, I use this independent place over in the West loop in Chicago, but this time around, these guys really had the best price by far. So I had to go with it. Um, things they did, I thought were awesome. They used uh, my jack pads that I provided. So I got these off Amazon, I'll put a link in there. But I wanted the underside protected on the jacks. They were more than happy to use these. And also, those wheel locks that I bought, accessory wise, like right when I got the car that I never got around to installing, they put them on for me. They didn't charge anything extra. And then I noticed they did the nitrogen fill on the tires. So that's pretty sweet too. And then check this out, my summer tires, they wrapped them all in bags and neatly stacked them in the back. So I thought I'd have a mess of like old leaves and you know, wet stuff back there to clean up afterwards, but I can just put these in storage now and not even worry about it and get them out next spring and have them put back on. I may just leave the all seasons on year round. So we'll see how they go performance wise, see if I like them or not. But I don't know, quick little drive through the parking lot. Seemed to steer pretty easy, seemed, seemed to handle nice. Uh, maybe it's because everything's properly inflated at 42 pounds now. Uh, I noticed my low pressure warning was coming on because uh, the cold weather here kind of, I don't know, deflates the tires a bit. So they were all running about 37 pounds. So now they're back up to 42. Um, everything's nice and neat and new. So I'll let you know how these go during the winter though. I'm real curious about the performance and the snow and all that, um, especially, you know, with this car being the first time I've had it uh, through a winter season. So. All right, I just got back to my parking garage, driving impressions on the new tires. They're pretty darn good. Like they're really grippy. It's super slick outside. It's about 46 degrees out. It's rainy, drizzly. Don't know how they are on snow and ice yet, but I'll find that out tomorrow. Um, they're really nice though. The one thing I did notice, they do seem a little louder than stock. And I thought that may be the case. When they took off my stock tires, I did notice the acoustical foam on the inside that Tesla installs. So I wanna show that to you guys because it is kind of interesting. I'd never seen it before in person especially. So let's take a quick peek at that. Okay, so these are the stock summer performance tires that came on it. That bag that Costco put them in. Pretty sweet, I'm still loving that. Oh, one other thing they did, they used an actual torque wrench to torque down the lugs and not just the air impact wrench. I don't know, man, really impressed. I feel like I'm gushing over their service, but they did a really good job. Anyway, so this is the acoustical foam. I'd never seen that inside of a tire before. So it's about an inch thick and Tesla puts it in here to cut down on the road noise inside the car. You don't have any of that engine noise, so road noise is a lot more noticeable. And then some of the differences between the tires. So this is that summer tire and that kind of smoother summer tread. And then this is the Michelin Pilot Sport All Season 3. So you can see the tread's a little more aggressive and it's going to be a little louder in the winter. So some people might be wondering, hey, why'd you do an all season rather than dedicate a winter tire? And I went with this just so I could run them longer into the season, even run them in the summer if I want to. So on the BMW, I always had the dedicated winter tires. I had to be sure to take those off before it got too warm outside. Otherwise they just wear out really quickly. 
Well, hope you guys enjoyed my tire escapade for the day. Um, stay warm and dry wherever you're at and drive safely. I will talk to you soon. Bye.